Hello and welcome to Civil Talks. Today we're going to learn about the flow duration curve. I know you are not very much familiar with the term flow duration curve. So let's get started on the topic. So flow duration curve is a graphical representation of runoff. It is plotted by taking discharge on the y-axis and probability percentage of the time on x-axis. Here we can see, here you can see the picture of flow duration curve or the graph. And now this is the simple representation of flow duration curve and you can have a look on the flow duration curve on various years. That means the flow duration curve changes according to the year. If it is a wet year, the flow duration curve shifts upward. If it is a dry year, it shifts downwards from the normal year. So, this is a brief explanation of what flow duration curve is. So now, let's jump into the another topic. So what are the uses of flow duration curve? Flow duration curve are significantly as significant uses in hydropower design. So let's get started. What are the uses of flow duration curve? The number one point says, in evaluating various dependable flows in planning of water resources engineering projects. You can watch my uh, another video on flow duration curve, how to calculate the flow duration curve. I have briefly explained uh, what are the kind of dependable flows and how uh, flow duration curve helps in designing and uh, hydropower engineering projects. So, but I will uh, briefly explain to you by using flow duration curve we can uh, calculate the dependable discharge for example Q40, Q45, Q30 according to the kind of hydropower layout and design the hydropower structures accordingly. And the second point says evaluating the characteristics of hydropower potential of a river. Since uh, we are directly um, involving the flow duration curve in finding out the design discharge so it characterizes the hydropower potential of a river that means if we are designing a hydropower project on q40 it will give a certain value of power if we are designing the hydropower project on q25 it will uh, give the potential of river accordingly flow duration curve is very much helpful in flood control studies since it provides the discharge data throughout the year in each and every month it helps to control the flood designing of drainage system computing the sediment load and dissolved solid load on of a stream and it helps to compare the adjacent casements with a view to extend the stream flow data so you can have a um, detailed research on the uses of flow duration curve. There are lots of uses of flow duration curve, but I have uh, shortly mentioned there are only six points. You can find it if you Google it. So yeah, these are the uses of flow duration curve and uh, some brief information about uh, what flow duration curve is. Thank you so much for watching our video. For more videos, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.